So a lot of people talk about eating cicadas. You hear it all over the news. I'm not sure how many people try it. In fact, quite frankly, I'm not sure why I'm trying it. I have eaten them raw. I do not recommend it. Made my lips and my tongue tingly for an entire day. So today, I freshly collected some. They're not tenerals. I think tenerals would probably be the best. They'd probably be the most tender, but it's too late in my area for tenerals. So we're gonna do some adults. So these are these are frozen, fresh frozen. I'm gonna uh, take off some wings. We're gonna try and barbecue. Um, take off the wings, I think. Uh, we're gonna try them uh, barbecued with pineapple, a little, I mixed up a little bit of olive oil and um, garlic and um, uh, kosher salt. I'm just gonna pull these wings off because I don't think there's any real need to eat the wings. I don't know how many is too many. I'm guessing probably more than one is too many, but we'll see. And we're gonna put some pineapple on them too. I think that's gonna give it a real sort of Caribbean flair. That'll be really nice. Real barbecue thing. Look at, I mean, look at those. Look how tender those things are. I hope they're not too crunchy because they're not tenerals. We won't take the ones that don't have abdomen associated with them. Um, well, that's a nice plump one. I'll bet you that one's going to be delicious. Uh, let's see. Oh, I also also picked a beer. Uh, I went with Allagash White. I didn't want anything to overwhelm the flavor. I'm thinking these are going to be pretty delicately flavored. If the Ones that I ate raw um, that tasted like walnuts and had the consistency of snot are any, um, are any uh, idea. I think they will be very lightly flavored, so. I know Sam, who's filming, is he just absolutely cannot wait to pop one of these little grilled babies in his mouth. Am I right, Sam? Can't wait. See, there you go, he can't wait. One cicada, that, and then a pineapple bit because I think that'll, that'll be nice. A little pineapple bit on there. Maybe two pineapple bits in a row. Yep, and then another cicada. Oh, that's a beautiful plump one. God, that's probably gonna be delicious, maybe. <laughs> I'm not really sure, actually. Is there one of those on there? Is there another one on there? What a great Father's Day. I mean, I got to collect cicadas with my wife and my father, and now I'm grilling them with my, with my son, which is just, I mean, come on, it's fantastic. Oh, look how pretty that is. Actually, the colors are really beautiful, aren't they? Look at those big red eyes. Oh, these are nice. These are, these are tender. I think these would be like grade A if these were uh, shrimp. Good. Originally, I thought I would use barbecue sauce, but I think barbecue I sauce... I think it will mask the flavor. Yeah, that's what I think, too. I think these are going to be very delicately flavored, and I... Oh, that one squished a little bit. Oh, can't do it. All right, so we're going to brush a little bit of olive oil on them. We've got the grill on low because I think they're going to cook fast. Um, again, this is just a mixture of some nice olive oil. Uh, I feel like Paula Deen um, or Rachel Ray. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic salt, and a little bit of kosher salt, and a little bit of crushed red pepper because I think that'll be nice. We've got the barbecue on low, like about three... 375. I actually have no idea what the right temperature for grilling cicadas is. Let's say it's 350, 375. So, oh, uh, I'm going to throw this on here. I'm going to run inside quickly and get a uh, something to turn it with. Oh, that is just really beautiful. Look at how gorgeous that is. Keep them nice and tender. We don't want them to get dried out. A dried out barbecued cicada is uh, it just defeats the whole purpose, doesn't it? I mean, a Father's Day barbecue. Some people have filet mignon. Don't get me wrong, I like filet mignon. Some people have lobster. We have lobster of the earth. Lobster of the soil. Dirt lobster, as some might call them. Tasty tidbit lobster. Let me flip them over, show you the other side. Oh yeah, these are almost ready. I don't really know. I'm thinking they're done, so... Um, I think they're, the, the stick is starting to get burned, the pineapple is brown, and their eyes are bulging, so I'd say they're probably done. So let's take them off. Um, oh, that's hot. Oh, I can almost smell their nuttiness. That might be me, actually. So let's see. I'm going to just take them off the skewer here. Oh. Oh, look at the way that one broke apart. It's so tender. It's almost like a flaky white fish, like flounder or something. Look at the way it just broke apart. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, I guess there's no real pretty way to plate them. I mean, they are frickin' plate of bugs. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, I, I'd say probably eat them with, oh, they're definitely gonna be crunchy. Sam was concerned they might be gooey, but I'm suspecting they're gonna be crunchy. <laughs> I, I, I know he can't wait, so. Let's just, uh, let's get Lois over here, Lo. So go ahead, grab yourself a big tender one. Oh, that's, here's a nice juicy one. Oh, <laughs> oh they're definitely crunchy. That's a, that one's soft. <laughs> oh, that's soft one? Yeah. You ready? Well. Go ahead. Actually, it's pretty good. What do you think? Um, you're not gonna have another, I can see. No, I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the big one because I don't think that. Oh, those are delicious. Oh my God, that's good. <laughs> do you not want another bite? No. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't bad. The legs were a little leggy. Yeah, they're crunchy, right? Remind me of being a chewy. They do have a delicate, sort of nutty. I think I think they are definitely a delicacy. There's no way though that I would characterize this as being anything like shrimp or seafood like no, people have done. I would characterize them as bugs. Bugs, yeah. I would say they're a lot <laughs> like bugs. Seriously. Andrew Zimmern, you are the man. Ugh. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling you, that is delicious.